Marcus gum pupil, relative afferent pupillary defect. It's a sensory defect, a sensory afferent defect. So it's anything that damages cranial nerve two and prevents it from taking the signal back to the pre-tactical nuclei. So light's not gonna get through that system and you're not gonna be able to constrict the eye. So if you shine a flashlight in that eye, you're not gonna get any constriction and it's gonna look like dilation. And then when you move the light from one eye to the other eye, the other eye is going to constrict. And then both pupils are going to constrict. And then you're going to move the light back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you're going to get constriction, dilation, constriction, dilation, constriction, dilation. And that's a Marcus Gump pupil.